First, there was Ben Franklin and his kite. That was the beginning of our story with electricity. Then people fiddled about with it for a century before they started even thinking about wiring it to our homes. Then the question was, do we use alternating current, known as AC, or direct current, known as DC power? It sounds academic now, but it became a savage debate involving Edison, Westinghouse, and Tesla. In the end, alternating current won the debate, which was fine. After all, AC is good at carrying power over vast distances to run AC systems, like old-fashioned refrigerators or an old radio set. So things hummed along for another 100 years, right up until today. So you ask, now what's the problem? Well, like a lot of things that are 100 years old, the entire system has become terribly inefficient. These inefficiencies started to creep in around 50 years ago, when semiconductors were showing up in things. And while many electrically powered devices can use either DC or AC, semiconductors require DC power. What are semiconductors in? A lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. So, before these devices can use the AC power, they have to convert it to DC. And in that conversion, you actually lose power. A nice big chunk of it. Feel the heat from the back of your television or the brick on your computer? That's energy being wasted. Semiconductors are only one part of the problem. The other part of the problem involves the growing interest of converting power closer to home with things like solar roof panels or plug-in hybrids connected to your house. And the way things are wired now, you have to convert them to AC power to get them inside your home or to your car, only to have to convert them to DC again. This takes the long way around when there is an opportunity to directly connect at higher efficiency. Confused? So is the grid. But all it really means is that you are losing double-digit percentages of power all over the place. So it sounds like DC power is the more efficient way to go. Why don't we just use that? Well, it's definitely a point worth exploring. If we were to optimize our systems to use DC power in a smarter way, created at our building sites throughout the country, we could dramatically increase our energy efficiency. We could not only create our own energy, but also do more with it. It would change the future of energy. The good news is we can and can start right now. Over the past decade, Nextech has developed, tested, and deployed their DC system here, here, and here. This has resulted in energy savings of 10 to 42 percent versus conventional practice. If we were to deploy the same method of energy creation and consumption across the entire United States, the saving would be enough to power the state of California. If this shift to smaller DC power systems, known as microgrids, starts to happen, it will have a dramatic effect on energy conservation today and in the way we create and consume energy over the next hundred years. And when you think about it this way, it seems less like a drastic change and more simply like the logical next step in the evolution of electrical power.